to my channel again and today I have one video that will show you what is DMZ or uh, zone in computer Network King you can see that uh, my content I have five uh, one is a uh, zone in computer Network King and the second one is uh, why do we use DMZ as in the DMZ and DMZ implementation and different alright so you can see on uh, the diagram separate internet LAN uh, between the DMZ and router so we have three zones for the trust zone as a uh, local network LAN and the uh, DMZ zone that we call okay what is DMZ or DMZ DMZ and everything so you can you guys also know that uh, uh, security uh, vulnerability that maybe uh, the attacker can be attacked to our network by the public way. So, for the uh, internal network from the tra uh, to untrust zone and untrust zone to uh, trust zone, like uh, the web server, mail server, DNS, FTP, or everything that you public the service to the untrust zone. And so, this is the uh, demilitarized zone that we need to separate it from our internal network and another network that only to the DMZ not uh, access to our internal network right so why do we use DMZ uh, for the server that maybe you can call that provide a public uh, access from the outside or untrust network uh, the most uh, attacker uh, and also the um, or cyber attack separate from uh, the public service that we provide to the untrust zone and our internal network uh, for example the untrust network can access to your uh, public server right uh, uh, mail server FTP uh, and everything that you public to the untrust network and you you might be uh, no need the, the untrust network Access the web. That's why uh, we uh, DMZ and our internal also. All right. Okay. So what are server app placed in the DMZ? You can see that uh, we have uh, a lot of the public uh, service that you provide to the user, like the web server, mail server, FTP, DNS, or VoIP server, proxy server, and more. All right with the database server uh, they can do it also through the WAS or web allocation firewall for the security all right so we can use the WAS or web allocation firewall for the web security that uh, like the web server so even your web server can be placed in the DMZ zone and maybe the data base of the server may be uh, in the internal zone that's why we need to use the WAS web allocation firewall or another firewall that can be protect your web server all right for similarly where the server can be placed and the DMZ server the database content sensitive email and message user data can be placed uh, in internal network but you make sure that uh, you have the firewall can be protect of the between the DMZ zone and your internal network zone all right so for the implement implementation uh, in the mainly two different way using a single firewall or dual firewall. All right, but you can see that in this scenario we have uh, only a single firewall that from the internet and trust network to the router and router pass to the firewall and the uh, firewall have two zone the internal zone and uh, the inter zone. All right, so maybe some scenario. Uh, your database may be uh, not in the DMZ zone because you will not uh, public it to the untrust network use it so you need to put it in the internal network all right so maybe you need to restrict from the DMZ like the file share mail or every switch that need to contain into the internal network all right okay another scenario you have two uh, dual firewall 
that may be the bond connect to the DM the zone and another bond another bond is uh, protected by so you have two the uh, two fiber that inspection your traffic or inspection your uh, service provide to the client so that's all for my video thank you for watching